was goody it's your boy rhino welcome to loveless serve make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as always be sure to follow us on instagram and twitter stay updated with all of our new stuff but there are pressing matters to get to right now so there's been this disturbing trend that's happening around Halloween time. I guess it is kind of fallish, kind of pumpkin spice latte time of the year. And people are now going out in clown suits and terrorizing communities. It's happening on college campuses, suburban neighborhoods, cities, rural areas, farm country, Doug Dynasty country. It's happening all over the US and it's becoming a big thing on social media. So if you don't really know what the hell's going on while people are talking about clowns, just, you know, bear with it. This whole clown trend, it's kind of like Heelys where it's like popping really, really, yo, Heelys were my shit but it's like really entertaining right now and hopefully it makes a quick decline to nothing hopefully so no need to be confused about the clowns or anything it's just like a scary some bullshit that people are doing this clown thing is getting serious because at first i was like ha ha clowns are scaring people and then the shit happened to me so i'm gonna get to that in a second but as for all the people on twitter there's people posting these memes and pictures and stuff saying like oh if i see a clown they're gonna be hands thrown they, they're gonna be hands thrown i'm throwing this right hook you're not throwing shit except your bags on the ground so you can run. I hate when people don't practice what they preach. All these social media kids saying they're gonna fight clowns and stuff, they're all bark and no bite. Don't you just hate people that are all bark, no bite? What you about to do? You ain't about to do nothing. That's what I thought. Why? I'm your daddy. That's right. Who am I? I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. Stop. 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 Relax. Chill. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Now I got a message to the clowns. All the clowns watching this video, whether you're a hypothetical clown or you're actually a, a tangible clown that has a little nose, it's not a smart move. While dressing up like a clown may be scary for Halloween or here and there, but now that it's like a trend, y'all clowns better watch out. People are scared because these clowns are like gonna kill them or something. These clowns have been threatening people with baseball bats and knives and et cetera. And I haven't heard too many things where clowns are actually killing people. But think about that. If you're gonna kill somebody, why are you gonna dress up like a clown? That's making a, you're gonna be a hot boy. You're gonna be a hot clown if you do that. If there's like a crime scene and people standing around there and you're like, hey, yo, who killed the, who killed the dude? And then everybody's like, oh, it was a dude in the clown suit right there. And the guy in the clown suit's like, now hold on a minute. What? I didn't even, th I didn't even, I didn't think this out enough. It wasn't me. I didn't kill him. Just because clowns have been killing me when I'm a clown does not mean I killed him. Yes, the fuck it is. And also a message to you clowns, don't mess with the wrong people because it's, it's a stupid move already. But if you mess with the wrong people, yo, oh my God, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to help you guys out real quick. You guys who are nervous about this, this clown thing, no, thinking maybe it's going to happen to me or whatever. Let me give you some quick tips to survive any clown encounter. Let's say you're strolling in the park alone at night, which you shouldn't do anyway. You're asking for shit then. If you're walking alone and let's say two clowns pop out of the bush and you're like, oh my God, I'm about to get eaten right now. Boom, they're walking towards you. What do you do? Let me tell you what you do. Clowns start coming at you. You drop naked, drop your drawers. Get butt ass naked. I'm talking cheeks out on the pavement. If you strip down naked, the clowns are gonna be like, yo man, why is he naked? What, should, what is he doing? We get away from him. Because now that you're naked, the clowns are weirded out. And if one clown goes to like touch you or do something, the other clown's gonna be like, yo bro, what are you doing? You're, that's sus. The clown gonna look sus in front of everybody and you're gonna be safe. I saw a thing on Twitter that was like, you, if you see this clown in the middle of the road, what do you do? People are like, keep driving, what the hell? No. No, don't keep driving. Hit that bitch. You got a car. Hit that damn clown. If I'm do 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 and I'm driving and then someone's like, yo, there goes a clown. I'm like, hold up. Clown. Believe me, if there was a clown on the road, I am taking my whip. I am. You know the episode of SpongeBob where he was like backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. And someone goes, hey, yo, there goes a clown. Bitch. Backing up. Backing up. Er Hit that thing, man. Let Bozo go flying over the hood into the stratosphere. That's what he deserves for being on the side of the road, being a clown. It's stupid. All right, now what if you have a clown and it's scary, it's got like a chainsaw or something, you're alone, you're already naked and he's not scared of the nakedness because he's already a suspect clown. What do you do? Simple. You put on Jacob Satorius' new track. Uh, what's it called? All My Friends. All My Friends. 
<laughs> just put on his track and anything in the area within like a five mile radius will just die. Just be careful with how you use that song and that thing, but that should keep you safe. So to you clowns out there, just be careful who you mess with because it might not end very pretty for you. Hey everyone, uh, I just decided to dress up as a clown and be an idiot. Now I'm gonna call my friend via Skype because he's very afraid of clowns and huh, this should really spook him out. <laughs> All right, <laughs> calling Prince on Skype. <laughs> I think he's driving right now. It's ringing. Hey Prince, how's it going? I'm a clown, boo, ha <laughs> ha. Let me tell you now, baby, I'm not scared of name one of y'all. If y'all see y'all, I'ma take your balls off. Second, since y'all wanna walk around and act crazy and stuff, I'ma cut your foot off. And then when you're on your knees, I'ma slap my nipple down your chest and puncture in your heart. Cause I'm not, I don't, I'm not the one, honestly, truly, gracious to God. He knows I'm not the one to mess with, and you should know I'm not the one to mess with. So let me see one of y'all, so I can just taste every intestine of your body. Burn your spirit, burn your heart, burn them Caucasian nails right off your fingertips. Cause y'all wanna right, come I'm around. Gonna, I'm not gonna be a clown anymore. Damn. I don't want to get my balls tased. So to wrap it up, I just want to tell you guys about my little clown experience. You know, you always think it's not going to happen to you until it happens to you. And it happened to me. So as you guys might know, uh, Noah and I go to Drexel University in Philadelphia. And I thought this was like a clown safe zone, you know? No clowns. <laughs> So let me tell you how it happened. So there's this long stretch of um, pavement at my university. And uh, this is probably uh, two o'clock at night. Don't ask me what I was doing up that late. And there's not that many people on the street. And I'm walking, walking, walking. What do you know? What do I see in the distance? It looks like a clown. I'm like, nah, 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 bro. It's like a clown, bro. What is that? <laughs> what is that supposed to be? That's a clown. That's getting closer. It's getting closer. It's a clown. It's actually a clown. And I'm thinking to myself, well, damn, I'm about to run the other way because, well, I got to get home. But like I'm just trying to what the hell so I'm low-key freaking out. I see he's wearing like this one-piece suit all stripes going down I think it was like blue and red stripes or whatever I can't remember and a rainbow wig and like a clown mask like one of those um purge mask type things I was like yo what the fuck but you know what mama didn't raise no bitch so I was like you know what I'm, I know what I'm gonna do as I'm walking towards him I'm already gonna have my mechanical pencil that I had on me you know I keep it on me if he start if he tries something oh I swear to god I'm gonna stab him through the ear in the eyeball in the mouth with the pencil I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna go at him and I'm gonna be on edge so we're walking we're getting closer and I see it's actually a dude in a clown outfit and I was like bro I know this person about to mess with me right now so I, I'm like breathing fast because who knows he could have the Uzi he could have whatever eat me or something and we're walking and we're walking and it he looks at me and it's like an older white dude, college age, and he looks at me and he like awkwardly looks the other way and he like keeps walking. And I was ready to do like the Captain Phillips like standoff, like, like look at me, I'm the captain now and like do something with him, but he didn't even go near me. He actually walked away from me. And I was like, yo, what the heck? You're not gonna kill me? You're not gonna hit me or something? I thought you were supposed to, you didn't have a, they like a bat or something to just whack me with to scare me? Nothing? Okay. All right. Mr. Drexel got Drexel got the shitty clowns, y'all. Drexel got some bitch clowns. And I was like, wait a second. Was he scaring me? Like, I remember a little girl one time described me as the scary black man. And I was like, wait, am I scary? Was this clown racial profiling? This was a clown profile. Stop clown profiling right now. Whatever it was. It freaked me out a little bit because it really was an actual clown. But I don't know. Maybe he was just trying to scare people or whatever was going to happen. But hey, man. Final note, I want you guys to be safe out there. I don't want you guys to hurt anybody. Don't catch any felonies or anything. The best thing you can do is stay indoors and watch Loveless Sir videos because that way it eliminates going out, getting eaten by a pack of clowns and uh, you just have a good time anyway. So thank you guys, hope you enjoyed it. And we got a lot of good stuff coming up really soon. So until next time.